is no safety net. We want to have a safety net for these people who fail, so as to encourage them to take, take risks. So that's how innovation can come about. Your interactions with the youth, um, have they, um, have, are these sort of issues that have been brought up in your interactions? Yes, they are very positive. They look forward to, they say, well, we look forward to the next government so that they can be given grants for creative startups. Right? The young people, they want, they just want money. We should not. We have lots of money and yet we are throwing them away in uh, gardens by the bay and all that. Why do we need such a huge garden costing a billion dollars? Why can't we have smaller gardens all over Singapore? Right? And save the money for the young. Give them. Maybe you want to go to digital. We give it to you a million dollars. Go and find some uncle who will give you 250, then we can give you one million dollars. And then you have your uncle sitting about controlling you, making sure that you spend money on innovation and not go and spend money traveling around the world. Right? Yeah. And enjoy yourself. <laughs> yeah. So 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 what sort of infrastructure do you think will be needed in terms of of, of um, implementing this sort of innovation in young people? Yeah, uh, do you need him again? <laughs> Patrick, do you need him again?